we have had 18 teams, 36 students. Then we're going to get three teams for the finals. And then of that, whoever the team is that wins, those two people with two guests are going to be going to Portugal, to El Porto and the Douro Valley for five days, which is amazing. We wanted students to break out of the concept that port is just for desserts or port is just for cheese and nuts. So we're really working with them and with Kendall to develop recipes that are going to be unique that will go just exactly towards this special reserve wine. They had a mystery basket of food and they had exactly an hour and a half to take care of feeding all of us judges um, with foods that pair well with the port wine. Well, when I came out with the tray of uh, product, there was a couple of yeses and yeah, and then there was a couple old. Oh, what is that? There was six ingredients, of course, there was duck. We had uh, salsa feet, we had a spaghetti squash, we had pine nuts, we had um, Savoy cabbage, and we had shallots. Five days in Portugal, you know what, you're gonna have a hard mystery basket. Duck is a good example because a duck leg takes a while to cook because it's a tough part of the animal. The cabbage we didn't practice. Yeah, the cabbage was like, oh, <laughs> that was our cabbage, work. okay, but you know, we, we raised it, got it done. The other ringer that we threw in was salsa feet. And salsa feet is this long root that is dark on the outside, beautifully white in the middle. I had actually never worked hands-on with salsa feet, so when we walked in, we kind of discussed that and it was, you know, we just kind of did the best that we could with what we were given. Some of the groups had no idea what it was, <laughs> so. Got a blender over there. Our strategy was to bring out as much flavor with simple ingredients so it would go well with the port. As a judge, my biggest focus was did the students have the pairing in mind when they were in the kitchen? Because every component individually can taste great, but if it doesn't mesh well in your mouth, you're not going to have a good pairing. Oh, How long have they been making port? A long time. That tradition has to come through the dish. It takes a lot of courage to do a competition like this, and then to see it through, execute it, stand in front of the judges. It just gives them practice, um, and it builds their confidence and, and courage. I'm going to read off the three teams that will be going on to December the 10th. First team is Jeremy Fisher and Tracy Torres. Second team is Kristen K. Moore and Talia Monty. And our third team is Aaron Haas and Amy Dannenberger. Today is our final event for the culinary competition. We have our three student teams, and we kicked off the day very early with a breakfast here at Kendall College um, with Miguel Corte Real, who is our master blender and general manager of Coburn's. This is, is such a big event for these, for these six students, and the opportunity to sit down and actually talk to the winemaker was was magical because they really, they learned so much about port and, and how it's made from him. But they also, I think they felt sort of what it's like and, and, and his views of port and all of that I think is gonna be helpful to them as they compete today. Even during breakfast, I could tell their minds were just worrying. It was almost like um, while they wanted to enjoy the breakfast, I felt like there was a lot of urgency to like, let's get this day going, let's, let's get in the kitchens. So I can tell that they are just ready to go. They've had a lot of prep time. Today is the big day, so we're gonna see amazing things today. Today is a totally different competition than what these students did to get to this point. And part of this competition today is not only how does this dish look and, and taste and, and pair with the port and the creativity and all that, but we're also gonna judge them on what does their table look like? Is their table sort of got a certain flair? Are they serving their dish with a certain flair to all these different people? The decorations, all that's gonna be part of who eventually goes to Portugal. 
All right, guys, gather around. Let's go. Okay. All right, a couple things real quickly. At 6.45, you're all going to be introduced to everybody. By 7 o'clock, you need to be walking out in that room with your plates for the judges. OK, you cannot miss your window. This is going to be a very exciting day for all of you. So kitchen's yours. There's a real camaraderie between the three teams that, that we've seen. But now it's competition time. In the first competition, it was all just flying by the seat of your pants, inventing as you go. Now they've had time to really sit back, to calculate, to try different combinations, to grab a glass of the special reserve port and to actually taste it with different dishes and different ideas so that they come up with the perfect dish. So since the students had several weeks to go back to the drawing board and think about what they really want to prepare, I know for a fact they did a lot of research on all things Portugal, if you will. There's definitely been a lot of thought, research, and heart put into the recipes that they're preparing today. The other thing that's different about this competition today is that not only are they going to prepare these dishes for the judges, but then they're going to have to prepare samples for 250 guests. The evening is going to start to fly as soon as the guests start walking through the door. I mean, it, every minute counts at that point. I mean, to serve 250 guests in one evening is no easy feat, for sure. So it, it's going to be a, a very crazy evening, but fun. The student excitement about this particular competition exceeded all of our expectations. I mean, it truly has been just the biggest success we could have possibly imagined. And I have to say, from the Kendall perspective, working with Coburn's, this partnership has been nothing short of incredible. I am so excited that all of you are here tonight because we have a truly, truly fabulous and exciting evening ahead of you. Um, the three student teams that you saw here tonight have gone through a myriad of activity to get to where they are today. At 7 o'clock, the student teams are going to be coming out and presenting the judges their plates. I think the students are really excited about this panel of judges. They realize the caliber of, of judges that we have brought to the table, and that really just raises the bar for them to, to perform that much better. At 7.30, the three Carvery stations that you see, located at each of the three corners of this room, um, will be manned by the student teams, and that's where they will be presenting tasting portions for you to try. And then at 8.45, we will announce the winner. And I'm sure it will be very exciting. You won't want to miss it. To work with such level of talent and commitment and passion about food and about port, it's far surpassed any, any of my expectations. And so, um, so no matter what happens tonight, the students should walk away with a huge feeling of self-accomplishment. Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. I am going to ask Miguel Corte Real to come back to make the final announcement. Well, the first winner, it was Coburn. None of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Coburn. Again, by the pleasure, by the opportunity, uh, it was a very rich experience for us. Thank you all. And uh, you are all winners. But the prize goes to Tracy Thorpe. <laughs> it was sheer disbelief. I mean, I was just, yeah, basically. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Well, it's it's so funny because like when we first started the competition, it was more of a oh, can we even do this? And we got so much great response from the crowd we did. that people just kept coming back for seconds and thirds and telling us how much they liked it. We knew that we had done something well and we did what we set out to do, and it was just. Like, it. Yeah, and with our family and friends there, like to share that with all of them and have everyone to be so excited for us, like, mm -hmm. it was amazing. The opportunity that Coburn's has given to our students in this competition
has truly benefited them and benefited the whole community. So we should raise a glass of, of Coburn's port.